Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Tonelli here. So Major League Baseball has finally determined and come out with the punishment for the Boston Red Sox sign stealing back in 2018, the year that they won the World Series. So we're going to talk about exactly what the punishment is, who was punished, and then the details behind the punishment. So first, if you're watching this, I'm sure you're already well aware. This all started 2017. Houston Astros involved in one of the biggest sign sc stealing scandals of all time. Their manager was fired. Their GM was fired. They were uh, fined millions of dollars. They lost draft picks. We know all about that. Okay. Um, now, Alex Cora, who was the bench coach for the Astros, the next year he goes to the Red Sox, and the Red Sox win the World Series, okay? And, and Major League Baseball has been investigating possible sign stealing done by the Red Sox. And so, you know, I think a lot of people were expecting this to be kind of juicy, right? Like something big is going to happen here because Cora was with the, the Astros the year before, and he probably took something similar over to the Red Sox in 2018. Well, it, it didn't exactly go down like that. We're going to talk about it here in a second. And again, before we do, you know, a lot of people have been uh, commenting on the Astros video saying, you're just not an Astros fan, you're a Red Sox fan, and why don't you talk about the Red Sox and their sign stealing, because uh, they were doing things just like the Astros were doing. Uh, first off, I'm not a Red Sox fan. I grew up one, but I'm not a Red Sox fan anymore. So I just talked about baseball. Okay, secondly, um, we're going to get into this report. What the Red Sox did was not what the Astros did, at least according to the report, okay? So let's let's get into it. So Major League Baseball has determined that the primary culprit of the sign stealing done by the by the Red Sox, sorry, I'm so used to saying the Astros, by the Red Sox in 2018 was not Alex Cora, the manager. It was not the other coaches on the staff. It was not the front office. It was the team's video replay system operator. So the operator, JT Watkins. So he was suspended. Uh, the Red Sox were docked a second round draft pick in 2020, which, you know, in baseball, a second round pick, I mean, the chances of them making it anyway are probably pretty slim. It's still something, but it's not a whole lot. Um, and then it also suspended Alex Cora through the 2020 season. Uh, through the postseason. Uh, but this was for his conduct with the Astros in 2017 and not in this case with the Red Sox in 2018. So when everyone else was getting suspended um, for the Astros, Alex Cora's name was in that, but he didn't get suspended, right? So they talked about what he did, but they didn't suspend them. They said they were going to wait to see what happened with this whole Red Sox thing. Uh, now he's been suspended officially for a year. But again, this is for his Astros actions, not for his Red Sox act actions, which is uh, which is pretty interesting. So now Watkins, who he denies any wrongdoing in this, okay? But so he's suspended now without pay for the 2020 season. And then he cannot serve as the replay room operator for the 2021 season regular season and postseason. So, that, so that's his punishment. So I've read a bunch of different articles on this. I've read The Athletic. I've read uh, ESPNs. I've read a bunch of them, okay? And so we've got a couple of different quotes. Um, this first one is from The Athletic, okay? It said, Commissioner Rob Manfred found that Watkins, on at least some occasions during the 2018 regular season, illegally utilized game feeds in the replay room to help players during games, an undertaking less egregious than the Astros' famed 2017 sign-stealing scheme. So essentially what's happening is Watkins is watching the game in the video replay room. Uh, what he's allowed to do is use information prior to the game starting and after the game ends to figure out side sequences. So when a runner's on second base, the catcher, again, we talked about this with the Astros videos, but let's go over it again. When there's a runner on second base, the catcher is going to give multiple signs because that runner at second base can see the signs, okay? So that's a disguise. They're using a system. And so what Watkins typically does for the team is that he looks at this footage before the game and then after the game, okay, which is allowed. 
and he tries to figure out the sign sequences so that they can talk about it as a team. So the next time a runner gets to second base, they kind of have an idea of what systems the team uses, and then they can try to figure it out quickly, more quickly. Um, that's allowed. But what is going on here is using game live game footage. So you cannot use live game footage. Right. So I can't sit back there on a television and watch the live game, try to decipher the code, try to decipher the sequence and then run out and tell my team and tell the players, OK, guys, they're using third sign and then quickly relay it onto the field. And I will say this. So that's what they're getting in trouble for here. Again, we're going to get into the exact details, but I guarantee that more, more than just like the Yankees were doing this, but then they were banging. Right. So they weren't waiting for a guy in a second. They were just banging on a trash can. Um the Red Sox were relaying. I bet you more teams than just these two were doing this. Okay, a lot of people say that everybody was doing this. Now, I don't, I'm not gonna say everybody, but I guarantee uh, that more teams than just these two teams were using some type of, they were watching the game live and then they were relaying it. I guarantee that was happening. All right, so let's hear from some of the players in the actual investigation. This is from The Athletic also. It says, in addition to Watkins' denial of decoding signs during the game via the replay system, the league said that 30 players said that they had no knowledge of such behavior. MLB investigators talked to six witnesses who did observe Watkins write out signs during the game, and 11 said that Watkins communicated sign information in a way that indicated he obtained it during the game. Four witnesses said Watkins used gestures or notes to communicate to them sign sequences when a major league employee assigned to watch over video game or video rooms was present. OK, so a lot of players said had no idea, but you do have players that said, yeah, we did. You know, he was looking at this in real time and he's relaying it to us. OK, and when there's somebody so Major League Baseball, eventually when they realized that teams weren't really listening to when they were said no live in-game footage can be used to, to uh, figure out sign sequences. When they realized, OK, teams really aren't listening to us, they put an official from Major League Baseball in every room to make sure this wasn't happening. So now players are saying, well, we came up with a system, or at least Watkins came up with a system. You know, I don't know, I don't know what his system was, but a way to tell the players, you know, if I pick my nose, that's second sign, right? <clears throat> if I clear my throat, they're using third sign, right? Like some type of system they use to get past that MLB employee so that they could still steal the signs in real time. Now, was this just a couple of players? I mean, I, I, I find it hard to believe that all this happened and only a few guys were doing it. I feel like probably more were doing that. But listen, they said 30 players said they had no knowledge and there was only a, a handful of them that said that they did have knowledge of it. Now, one player who was interviewed twice said that he had no doubt that Watkins utilized the replay room to decode signs on occasion and said that he watched Watkins attempt to decode the sign sequence by writing sign information on computer paper, ooh, computer paper, while he watched the replay station in the replay room and then circling the correct sign in the sequence after the pitch was thrown. Another player said that he believed that 90% of Watkins sign sequence information was obtained from his pre or his advanced work learn how to read, Matt, but that 10% of the time, Watkins obviously updated that information from in-game video feeds. Manfred said Watkins admitted that in 2018 and 2019, he did indeed notice sign sequences while working replay, but he would keep only a mental log and would not send that information to players. Okay, this is, see, this is where the whole thing gets crazy because this guy, his job is to figure out signs, right? Figure out sign sequences. That's his actual part of his job with the Red Sox. Just can't do it in game, okay? I feel I feel like this is difficult when you tell the guy this is your job, okay? But you can do it before games. You can do it after games. You can do it whenever the hell you want except for during the game. Yet we're going to put a television right there in front of you. We're going to sit you in this room during the game. And you're going to stare at signs all day long. Um, and you can look at them. You can look at them. That's okay. But don't you dare tell anybody. And don't, you know, you can't relay this stuff. Like, I just feel like that is really hard for this guy to do that. I'm not saying, look, I'm not saying that they, it's cheating, clearly. The rule says it's cheating. But this was just silly. They should have done, this guy shouldn't be allowed in the room. I mean, figure something else out. But you can't tell the guy that's in charge of stealing signs that he can steal them all the time. Just don't, you just can't take them and steal them and, and 
and signal them to your team during this three hour game. I mean, I, I feel like that's asking for a lot of trouble. There's not, there's a lot of guys that are going to say, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, sure. I won't do that. And then go ahead and do it exactly what the Red Sox did. And I'm, again, I'm sure a bunch of teams did this. And again, just so we're on the same page, this is, this is less flagrant than the Astros. Okay. Um, they're replaying signs to the base runner, all right? So it's going from the video room, Watkins is sitting there, he's using his past knowledge, and then maybe a little bit of in-game live stuff to maybe confirm or figure something out. Maybe there's a little change. He figures that out, he tells the player that goes to the dugout, and then the dugout relays it to the runner on second base, and then the second baseman relays it to the hitter, all right? And again, this is done, every team does this legally without the the video game room part right so usually you're just out there you're seeing it you're trying to figure it out you come back you tell the guys on the dugout i think it's second sign right and then once you figure it out then you start relaying it and again that's that's legal that is fine it's when you you can't use the live game feed okay so it is less egregious because than the, the astros because the astros were taking it again and then they're just banging on the trash can so they didn't need a runner on second base they could just let you know there, there could be no runners on it didn't matter they, they're always staring at the, the uh, live game feed. They see the sign the catcher puts down, bang. And they, I mean, that, that is uh, egregious. That is, that's worse than this. I'm not saying that this isn't bad. I'm not saying that, that, um, there shouldn't be any punishment for this because they are cheating. This is against the rules. I'm just saying it's, it's less flagrant than what the Astros were doing. Okay. So here's some more from Manfred. Here's a direct quote from Manfred. He said, I do not find that then manager Alex Cora, the Red Sox coaching staff, the Red Sox front office, or most of the players, not all, but most of the players on the 2018 Red Sox team knew or should have known that Watkins was utilizing in-game video to update the information that he had learned from his pregame analysis. Communication of these violations was episodic and isolated to Watkins and a limited number of Red Sox players only. Okay, I just feel like if they were doing this, it wasn't just a couple of players. That's my opinion. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was just a few players. But I, I feel like you know when this is going. You know, you you know when this is going on. You're sitting in the dugout. The dugout is not that big. You ever been in a Fenway dugout? The Fenway dugout is like like I have more room right here than you have in the Fenway dugout. You can barely fit a team in the Fenway dugout. And I feel like if players are coming going down and, and figuring out the signs, or Watkins tells them the sequence, and they got to come out, and then they've got to decode or they've got to signal it to the runner at second base and you're doing this for the season i feel like people like somebody like the manager the coach uh other players are gonna see that and be like huh what what's he do? you know what's he doing over there what are these signs he's doing oh um like I, I feel like if you don't notice that then you you're clear you must you watch the game with your eyes closed apparently that has to be obvious to everyone now one thing the league also did say is that that they found that this was not being used in the postseason of 2018 or in 2019. Why would you do it the whole regular season and then say, okay, guys, um, we're in first place. We are the best team in the league. We are crushing people. Let's shut it down for the playoffs. I don't know why you would do that, um, but that's what the report said. And if you were interested, this investigation included interviews from 65 witnesses, 34 current and former Red Sox players, as well as tens of thousands of emails, text messages, video clips, blah, 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 photographs, and all that stuff. Okay. Now, here's another quote from Manfred. He said, the club must be held accountable, particularly since the club may have benefited from Watkins' conduct. Okay. Um, but there was no disciplined players. Again, nobody expected disciplined players, right? Uh, the Astros players weren't disciplined, and that was worse than this. So we knew that that wasn't going to happen. Um, but it is pretty light punishment. You just lose a, a, a second round pick, and um, you know your manager. You're not. He's not even your manager anymore. He's suspended, but he was suspended for past actions, not even these actions. So. Um, you know, it, it is, it, it's really, really a light punishment. What do you guys think? Do you think that the punishment is really light? I'm assuming most people do. I know there will be some people that be like, this is nothing. Everyone does it. They should have been punished. And, uh, and I, and like I said, I think a lot of other teams did do this, uh, but it's still illegal. It's still cheating. Um, if you're going to have the rule, then you need to have some type of punishment. Uh, so teams do not break the rules. And one other thing, here's another quote from Manfred. He said, many players told my investigators that they were unaware that in-game sign decoding from the replay station had been prohibited in 2018 and 2019. So 
there's a lot of players saying they didn't even know it was against the rules. Okay, so first, who's in charge here? The general manager, the manager, right? They should be telling the players, we can't do this, guys, right? That's the first thing, okay? They should, so clearly they either didn't, or maybe the players are just lying. Um, but clearly somebody didn't pass the message along. That's the first thing. The second thing is, uh, if if you didn't think it was illegal, the players are saying that they didn't even think it was against the rules, then I'm I'm 100% sure that players were using this system then. It couldn't have been just a few players. If, if I didn't know, if someone said to me, uh, this this isn't against the rules, or I just don't know it's against the rules, then why wouldn't you take advantage of this? If I can figure out the sign system by just quickly looking at the screen or talking to Watkins and be like, yo, what is it? Okay, that's what it is. Okay, guys, it's the second sign today. Like, that would be so much easier than trying to wait for a guy to get on second base and let's figure it out, you know, why you're sitting out there and trying to play the game. And everyone's doing that, right? I did that every, like I said, I, every time I got to second base, I tried to figure out the system. I'm looking in and trying to figure it out. I right, went second sign here, okay. Yeah, it was a fastball, yeah. All right, I'm doing that in my head as I'm out there. And then when I come in, if I figure it out, I go, hey, guys, well, he's going first sign with a man on second base, first sign. Okay, cool, right? If I'm doing that all the time and I don't think that it's against the rules to just look at the TV or have Watkins tell me what he saw on the TV. Like, I'm going to do that immediately. Why wouldn't I do that? That's silly. I'm not going to waste my time doing it on second base when I can figure it out in the dugout in 10 seconds. So, I don't know. This whole thing is just, you know, Major League Baseball just wants this to go away quickly um, so that we don't talk about it anymore. And um, I, I guess by giving out not really harsh punishments, not many people are really going to talk about this at all so what do you guys think in the comment section below do you agree with the punishment do you think it's a big deal do you think it's not a big deal i would be interested to hear what you guys have to say so thanks so much for watching i appreciate it subscribe to the channel share the video with all your friends uh don't forget to hit the notification bell thank you to our patrons on patreon for supporting the channel we really appreciate that also if you like MLB The Show, if you like video games, go over to our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Antonelli Baseball, where I'm streaming a bunch of Major League uh, Baseball games on MLB The Show, Sunday nights, commenting or commentating on my own games. Uh, I need baseball, and so I've been doing that. Go check it out if you are interested. That's all we have. We'll talk to you later.